Hey there viewers and welcome back to the General Purpose TV channel. This is a little tribute to my uh, favorite channel right now, South Made Auto Channel. Links going in the description. What we got here is my 1986 Pontiac Fiero GT. And it's got all sorts of issues with the door panels. As you can see, uh, weather stripping. I forget what that's called, window seal, something like that. Is all shot. And you can see the plastic panels are bulged out and cracked, I guess, from the sun. And uh, I've got a new panel that I'm going to put on there. When I bought the car, he gave me a new panel. So he must have knew about that problem. So I want to get this panel off. And I think this uh, rain seal, the upper rain seal, just screws on there. Hopefully it's not riveted. So I went ahead and took the two bolts. There were two screws, actually. I don't know. It's kind of don't look original. But they were in there. Two of them. Took them out. And uh, I'm just working on I'm going to get the rest of them out. i got to pop this out here. Ooh. She's gone. Oh, I got her. And it's another Phillips. Maybe it is original. Phillips. Alright. So. Looks like there's a screw back here. Yep. This little cap pops off from behind the door release handle. Fill up screw. Beautiful Fiero logo. Ooh, don't break. Oh, caught it right in the noggin. Shot though. We're taking fire. Phillips. Sweep up good. I'm gonna check it. All right. Now, I'm gonna try and get some of these Christmas tree connectors out. One here at the bottom. I gotta figure out how to get this off. Like the lock mechanism. Oh, there we go.
this like lock handle though. It's gotta slide off this bar somehow without breaking. came off pretty easy. I'm gonna have to get all new Christmas tree connectors. They are shot. Look at that from around. It's just brittle. 86 plastic. Just coming across, coming off right in my hand. This. I'm gonna put the window down. All right, well the inside one comes off pretty easy. Oh yeah, I see some screws. So there's screws here on the top. I'm gonna take them out. Oop, wrong way. Four of them. Those four. That comes off. Just like a bracket. Okay, so this guy here. Come say hello. Hey there, viewers. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Let the camera real low. What's all that, like, fluffy stuff? Oh, that's like sound deadening, deadening insulation. I think I'm going to try and take this door panel off to get the rest of this off. Looks like you need some Torx screws. Let's go get that. You need to get this off? I want to, I'm trying to get this door panel off the outside and I'm going to take this. This is called a uh, rain, uh, rain, rain seal, it's called. You need it, but it's Let's broken. Get some tools. <laughs> I'm going to sit in the theater while you're... Right. Hello, viewers. Alright, let's go. There are Torx bits. Oh, first try. That was a, what size? T30. T30 Torx. Cause you got a new phone now. It has a lot more storage. Oh. That's yeah, right. it's 256, right? Or is it I don't 128? Remember. I don't remember. I have the box. I think, uh... Ooh, don't strip on me. Ooh, she was tight. I think a lot of the YouTubers, they use, like, the Canons, right? SLRs? Yeah. What's that mean, anyways? SLR. XLR? SLR. I don't know, but I know what XLR is. What's that? It's like a... Yeah, bro? Okay, oh, in a minute. Um, it's like... It's like a type of cable, an XLR cable. Yeah? It's like what microphones use. 
It's uh, like you plug it. You know how it's like a round cord that plugs into a mic? Yeah. That's an XLR. Oh, okay. I guess. I know I've always read that these, this whole car, all the panels, quarter panels, the fenders, the door panels, the bumpers, they all come off like super easy. It's supposed to be really easy. Make repairs. Can you grab those two? The two pounds. Let's see, where else do we got any? Oh, I've got some back there. I gotta get some extensions. Right. Let's say I've never taken off these uh, any of these door panels before. I don't know what's involved. Come back to that guy. I think uh, I take this molding off in the center. There's some stuff behind there, I think. Some on the bottom. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got some on the bottom. Got the old Chilton. All right, so that's your doors. Removal and installation. Disconnect the negative battery cable. Whoops. Remove door trim panel. As outlined in the door trim panel section. Oof. The Fiero is equipped with a completely removable plastic body bolted on a metal subassembly. The outer body panels are made of reaction injection molded urethane. Ooh. Glass fiber reinforced reaction molded urethane, sheet molded compound, and thermoplastic olefin. Remove the armrest, did that. Remove the window regulator handle. Special tool for that. All right. Trim piece has to come off. Just looking at my replacement panel. See if I can learn anything from that. She's stripped. She's stripped. No, nothing else to do but to try to shove a bigger size in there. Don't be a hater. She stripped, Marissa. Yeah. She stripped, all right. Oh yeah. Uh, 
Time for a vice grip, I think. They made it seem like these panels just come up in your driveway without any issue. You know, he's got one hater in the group. You know, until they want something fixed on that car. This guy. Oh, it's going to come off one way or another. out totally shot though all right did a little reading got to remove this this weather seal on the outside which looks a little you know not so great I'd have to get a new one of these one on this side and there's one over here. Looks like they might be eight, eight millimeter. Let's go with the ten first. Could it be a ten? This mirror off the two 10 millimeter bolts. I'm going to use a swivel. See if that helps me. Because it is a tight spot. I have to keep working. I got a magnet just in case. Because I know this nut's going to want to go. One of them. This should be fun. That's the second one. The mirror comes right off. Even an 86, they're using 10 millimeter bolts. All right, so the next thing is I read this prize off. They said use a flat pry bar. 
or a prize driver. Start at the end here. Flips right there. Go down the line. Clip right here. here there you go so there's a little christmas tree clip at the end there that went under the uh the door handle then it just pops off pops off of these clips so okay all right looks like i have to punch out these plant they're plastic rivets at the bottom uh the, i read there's four so i'm going to try and punch them out and then the, the panel at this point should lift up. We shall see. All right, those punched out. Let me grab like, let me move the camera a little bit. They're just plastic, so the middle punches out real easy. And I'm just using a, a pry driver. come out all right now watch let's pull this back
off she comes. Now we still have this uh, see in here door handle a lock mechanism bar that should pry right out. Come on, brother. So there is a retaining clip that goes on to this bar that you got to remove. Now the other thing is, if you have a power door locks, you have to hit the button a bunch of times to open it. Uh, now's the time to grease all this. Remove any corrosion, grease it and it'll work much better, which I will do at some point. All right, now I want to show you, as you can see, the panel is all cracked right around the mirror. And I don't know what's going on here. It looks like the door is just bent. I thought it was the panel that was bulged. But I think this whole structure is bent. So I gotta attempt to put that back in. You can see this is all messed up. This has to go in. I gotta figure out how to do. But the car came with this replacement panel. You know, it's in one piece, but it's not in as good a shape. I might try to remove this and put it on the new door. I don't know. I'm going to go with a long shot here and just see if I can use my quick grip clamp. Squeeze it a bit. Uh, I don't know.
do. It's a little straighter. Still feel like it can go in a little bit. It's got to go in in a little more right here. A little better. 80, 86 Fiero lives, Miss. No matter what you and your friends say, I will always give you guys a ride. When you, when you ask. straighter. Now with the mirror on though, decent. I do want to give it a couple more wax for good measure.
So it's, it's close, but you see this here? I think I need to try and just bend it out here a little carefully without breaking the glass. Looks pretty good. All right, <clears throat> so up to this point, got the inner door skin off. We took the outer door skin off and fixed the, the bulge that was in the door structure. I think somebody, previous owner, uh, maybe backed up and hit the mirror pulled it out it's it's in there pretty good now i'm satisfied with it um we'll see once i get the new dew wipes that's what they're actually called when i get the new ones and i put them on i want to see how it actually fits and um may tweak it a little more after that but at this point you want to understand this these two bolts have to come out now they're adjusted there's they're slotted tension on the window which helps uh, you know if it's too tight the dew wipes are gonna scrape against the window and they'll slow the window down so I'm just gonna mark with my uh, punch here it's got a sharp point I'm just gonna mark around the bolt so that when I put it back I can put it back in the same spot I'm just going to scrape around it. Just a witness mark. All right. So those look like 10 millimeter. So that just slides off once you release the tension of the window that just slides off and that looks actually pretty good shape not sure if I should replace that or not now I'm gonna put the window down I'm just gonna hold it it's a little flimsy now 
So, this uh, outer part of the dew wipes are held on by the mirror once the mirror is bolted. There's a screw here, Phillips head. Uh, where's my drill? So there's a screw right here, there's a hole. I'm just gonna take my magnet, put it next to the screw. Alright, these two, one here and one here, are behind the glass. Which I have no idea how I'm going to get out. Alright, so check this out. I need to have a way to get into a really tight spot to get a Phillips screw head out. And I want to use something like this. It's a wrench I have for something. I forget. And I got a little bit and I want to weld this bit so that it's like a right angle screwdriver like that really shallow I'll show you how I'm gonna try and do this I'm gonna mount this uh, bit into my vise here all right and I'm gonna cut the top off Oh, right in the cat litter. Gross. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, it's not pretty. That's what I'm going for here. I might have to modify it a little more, but we'll see. Taking the glass out is easier. All 
All right, now I gotta order parts. I'll see you back, uh, I don't know, in a week, but it'll be a flash for you. All right, and we're back. Uh, it's been a week, magic of videoing. That was just one second. I got a whole bunch of parts. Uh, I've got uh, the do wipes, bought some speakers and some other things, which we'll put in after, but uh, let's go see how they fit. So, here is the outer dew wipe. Let's see, it's identical. This is actually the driver's side. Now, the assembly is just the opposite, complete opposite of what we just took apart. So we'll start with the outer dew wipe, then I'm gonna do the inner dew wipe, and then start putting the outer door skin back on, followed by the inner door skin, and then we'll see how it goes, see how it works. So let's put this sucker on. Move you a little closer. So these screws, these little tiny screws are, you remember the one I made this special tool for? These screws are gonna be not fun putting back in. We'll start with the easy ones. The ones that are hard are these two inner ones. because you, the glass, the glass is in the way. So, and you need, you need these screws. I was gonna use sheet, sheet metal screws instead, try and maybe just take some, uh, some, you know, like quarter inch sheet metal screws, but the, the ones I have were too thin. So I'm gonna attempt to reuse these little tiny uh, screws and we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to start with the outside, the outside ones. These, these down here, well, there's two, two that I can easily get to, three, and then the two in the middle. We'll struggle with them eventually. That's one. So 
you remember too, I was my uh, my door frame here was totally was totally bent, and the mirror was protruding out probably half an inch, and I bang, I clamped it down and banged it with a ball peen hammer and just did whatever I could to straighten it, and you could see with the see if I could show you. With the new dew wipe, not no tension, um, not even secured back here, just resting on the on the door. It's pretty straight. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that when the window's fully up, this will be pushing against the window. That was the one thing I'm concerned with. So I'm not going to put the outer door skin on until I confirm that this here is in far enough so that the, the dew wipe is, is gonna be pushing against the glass. Cause that's the whole point that, you know, if that's not against the glass, water's gonna get down in here, which it was, and uh, can't have that. That's what I'm trying to fix. So we'll see how that goes. I am so tempted to just pull the glass right out to put those screws back in. I just don't want to, I feel like I might damage these, these brand new dew wipe trying to get this screw in. I'm just tempted to not even put them in. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on the inner dew wipe and see see just how <laughs> Put the inner dew wipe on, just, just see how much it moves without those two screws in. Alright, the inner and outer dew wipes are on. And I'm just going to tighten up the bolts that hold the, the sort of tension the window. Remember, I scribed them before. I'm going to just Tighten them back on. I think they're 10 millimeter. And I'm gonna put the window up and we'll see how it looks without those, with me skipping those two screws. Well, let's put the window up. 
see how she looks. Well, it's not perfect. So you can see, see back here, it's tight against the glass. And it's even, those, those screws gotta go in. But you can see the gap, there's a, it's definitely a gap. The only way to fix that is to bend this door more. Alright. Well, that stinks. So, I'm going to mess with this a little more and see if I uh, ponder this for a second and see if I'm going to bend it more or just leave it I don't know I'll be right back the fact that I'm putting this video on YouTube should should not be a deterrent for a hundred percent quality job my subscribers demand that of me More importantly, I know you demand that of me. Am I right? All right, I did a little work off camera. My battery went dead, plus I had a lot of figuring to do anyway. So um, I got it to the point where I just, I'll show you where I'm at now. Um, so I did in fact leave these two screws out. I said, screw it. Um, I put this door panel on and the mirror on. It was basic, the basic, uh, I mean, you saw me take it apart, so. There wasn't much there. I was putting it back was the exact opposite. And I put all the screws back in the door. There's uh, four on this side, three on that side, one there, one there, one at the bottom. Bolted the mirror back on. 
uh, got the lock and the handle linkage hooked up and works good and it sounds quieter too that's the big thing that I noticed right off the bat it used to rattle and when you shut the, when you shut the door it sounded like things were falling apart on the inside so hopefully things are quicker uh, quieter rather uh, this uh, I put back on as well this is the uh, like weather stripping or this seals out the the water between the drip the drew the the dew wipes and the side there's and there's one here which I'm gonna put on now so <clears throat> I'll set the camera up here so you guys can see they're a little I mean they're still okay they have some life left in them they're not very pliable much anymore they're cracking a bit but I'm gonna reuse them because I didn't order I did not order replacements so I'm just gonna have to deal with that Um, yeah, so these on, so these are three screws. One, two, three. All right, In, inner uh, do wipe can go on now. This just presses in. So, all right, uh, so the next step is going to be for the um, inner door skin, which I'm going to clean up first, and I got to get all new Christmas tree connectors for that, so, and I think I don't know how well they're going to stay in the old cardboard. I might have to hot glue them in there, which I think I might. Plus, I want to uh, hot glue this back on, probably. All right, so let's go take care of that. All right, folks. I need to switch all of the hardware. The lock, the molding and the key to my new door panel. I'm whispering because my wife's gonna make fun of me. <clears throat> this plastic is brittle.
plastic is brittle, Maris. You there? I don't think she cares. Getting the feeling you're not interested. My instincts are pretty good. It's just a feeling I got. Which I don't understand. When I met you, you said you were a Pontiac fan. Whatever happened? You there? back in I'm gonna I want to um, see if I can pull these clips off the old panel because they're in better shape so if we look here yeah these are much better so I think we got to work from the back to get them out So brittle. So brittle. Look, this one here. Just touching this. It just wants to give. Maybe I can, like, glue them in here. Oh, yeah. As soon as you push the clip down, they just pop right out. The clip just breaks right off. But I'm going to try it anyways. Now this guy is a rivet, which is no big deal. Let's see. This is a rivet. I'm going to pop that rivet out. I got new rivets for everything else. I have it pop out.
pop the center out. And you should be able to pry the rivet up without breaking the plastic. But we gotta get this out without breaking this clip. I'm just gonna cut it. Then I'll just push out. Yeah. Well, these clips, actually, these are. Not as brittle, but I need to figure out how I can keep that tight there. It's loose, you know. Let's see. I mean, I could glue it, but... It's just, it seems so permanent. I think I'm going to try to glue it. Just going to put a couple of dabs. I got some um, from my guitar building days. <clears throat> got some of this stuff. So. It's like medium thickness. Come on, dry. Maris, how are you going to fix the sink? Come on. You're gonna fix. All right, fine. She's stubborn, folks. She's stubborn. She says she's a big girl. sucker and you better dry all right while that dries uh, I want to grease up uh, all the linkage for the lock and what else the door handle well get that later Taking some white lithium grease. And I'll 
walk. So, I can find it. Grease everything, folks. movie, huh? Get this back up. Gotta connect the door handle actually first. Got some GM Christmas tree uh, clips and some epoxy because I'm going to just put just going to put a little bit of epoxy when I uh, like at the bottom of the clip when I set it in there. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Gonna put some on the bottom of this, and when I so when I set it in there, it definitely stays. Take a little bit like this. Put some on here. Stick her in. Twist it. Let that sit for a little bit. Make sure all of these are pretty good. This one can get replaced. Basically, if I find one that is eh, suspect, I'm just going to pull it out, throw it out, glue a new one in there. Here, 
All right, and then there's two that actually just go in these metal clips at the top. Which I'm actually gonna epoxy these as well because it really doesn't fit in here all that well. All right, now while that sets up, um, pop rivets. One thing I forgot to do is uh, the bottom of the door, of the bottom of the outer door skin, I gotta put in the uh, pop rivets. So I'm gonna use the gun pop rivet gun and do that now so let's go do that got these rivets here so basically this goes in the gun like this push this push this into the hole put that into the end of the gun and crank it and it'll expand the out inside of that and break off the end and, it, and it's secure so there's like four or five of these at the bottom, along the bottom here, that we gotta reinstall. That's one. That's two. Really easy. You just push up as you're doing it. That's in there. One more to do. That's it. She's on. All right. So before I push this back on, I am going to give it a bit of a cleaning. So let me get some spray. It's easier to clean off of this. All right. So if I remember right, we got to slide this whole thing through. This has to come through here. Try to remember what screws are for what now. 
we got a little tiny guy behind the Fiero logo. This one seems right. Bigger one behind the handle. That seems good. Good, now put the Fiero, Fiero logo, right side up of course. That's in there. These were long, yeah these guys here. Three of these. Now I'm gonna clean this one before I get going. This is a mess too. Hands are dirty. Right up my door, just clean. Now, the outside trim.
Oh man, well. Doesn't really seem to want to stay on there. But it's good enough for now. All right, well. I'd say it's basically a success. Aside from that molding. But what are you going to do? So that's how you replace the dew wipes on an 86 Pontiac Fiero GT. See you all next time.